Right. Welcome to Driving with Miss Daisy. That's Miss Daisy over there. And uh, in case you didn't know it. And um, we've just hooked the caravan up and driven it out and I've hit hit a planter. I've hit a rubbish bin and going real well. Um, so we're just going to head down and get some fuel. So uh, just to explain um, what this is all about. Well, we're going on holidays, that's what it's all about. Um, we've decided to uh, shoot a video of the whole trip. I might get sick of it halfway through. We'll see how we go. Um, so a little bit of a bit of a uh, bit of chat between uh, Miss Daisy and myself on the way down. She'll uh, obviously tell me how to drive and to slow down and watch this and watch that. But you know, that's isn't that what a wife does? Well, that's actually what's in the movie as well. Actually, oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Miss Daisy tells the driver what to do. Okay. So. Um, does he do? How did Miss Daisy? Does he, does he do what he's told? Yeah, he does. Well, there you go. And, and he lives with her for a very long time. <laughs> uh, how Miss Daisy started was uh, I'm always sitting in this side, and she's always sitting in the passenger seat. I drive her everywhere, so oh. I started calling her Miss Daisy. Um, and not to say that I, it's it's my favourite name because my grandmother's name was Daisy, so she was a beautiful woman, and this Miss Daisy is a beautiful woman. Maybe so I'm just watching one. the cars here, guys. Um, another one, and then we can get out. Um, so yeah, so we, we've uh, we've decided to make a movie, and we're going to meet up with uh, friends of ours, uh, Steve and Deb, and we're going to travel to. Warnable. Uh, first up, and we'll camp there for a couple of nights, and then up to Horsham. We're going to look at some some uh, silo, painted silos, and I'm um, going to head up to Mildura a few days there, or a week, uh, three or four days, and then down to Bort, a uh, little <laughs> camping area, because uh, we're going to go and see the Spanner Man. And um, then down to Echuca, which hopefully we can, um, hopefully we can um, see. She's telling me what to do. Oh well, you're um, not even watching. And um, hopefully we can get a um, fer a, a uh, steamboat trip and yeah, all that. So it's going to be good. Got to get used to these mirrors. All right, uh, more later. So we've just fueled up. And we're just getting on to the freeway now. Now, just say what you said a minute ago. You said, I, I asked, she's, she was about to say something. This is Miss Daisy. And then she stopped and I said, no, no, say it. No, 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 she said, no, I'm not saying it. I said, just say it. Say what you're going to say. Now, tell me what you... <laughs> <laughs> what, would, what did you say? I said, we're going to be turning soon and... You you're still barreling down at 80 kilometres an hour. And Did so I go around the corner at 80 kilometres an hour? No, I know that, but you know, you can well, see that we were going to be um, look, turning. Not soon. throwing it back on you, oh, well, but I'm going to. You. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah, she just gave me a, <laughs> she gave me a click click because my indicator was left on. You go barreling down sometimes. I don't say a word. I never say a word yeah, about Yeah, but I don't driving. have the caravan hooked up to the back, do you I? You never say a word about your driving. Never, ever. <laughs> yeah, right. So you can see it's going to be a pleasant journey. Um, uh, Miss Daisy is telling me how to drive. Uh, Slow down, speed up. Uh, yeah, so we're going through the... What's this, the domain tunnel? We're making good time. It's, it's about quarter to nine. We're supposed to meet Steve and Deb at 9.30 at Little, Little River, so all is going well. And we're just coming out. Miss Daisy's of the doing her knitting. Hmm? Miss Daisy's Juliet, Miss Daisy's doing her knitting. What are we knit who what are we knitting for to we're this time? We're knitting a little dress for Audrey. For little Audrey. 
tree. Beautiful tree. Out of wool. Yes. Okay. Well, it'll be, it's pretty. It'll be a winter dress. It's a winter dress, yes. Beautiful. So we're in the city now. Oh, there's someone trying to cut in front of me. Um, it's slightly overcast, uh, no rain. So I think hopefully that will continue for the rest of the day. Although we're heading down to Warrnambool and Warrnambool is a bit of a wet area, so... Uh, we, It'll probably be bucketing with rain. Uh, well, don't put your moz on it. <laughs> but, um, So you're going to buy one and not use it the whole trip then? No, 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 no. Why don't we just sort of get a newspaper and sort of hang it and put it over the top of our head? No. Why? Because Do this. what, if, Do what this. if it's bucketing with rain and I need to go to the toilet? Or I need to go and have a shower? So well, if you're going to go have a shower, you're going to be wet anyway, so what's, you know, yeah. what, what's the problem? Is no, there there's something, there's something in your psyche, I think? I think it's the Welsh in me. Well, it, it must be. It, it must it, be I, the Welsh. You, you are so scared to get wet. I'm not. What is it? It's not. Did it rain a lot in Wales? Yes. Is there anything coming? Is there anything beside why, me? Why are you getting over? Uh, oh, why am I getting over? I don't know. Good point, I'm going to work. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll go back and stay where I am. We have to be in the right anyway. Right yes, hand lanes. We do to go. well right handish lanes. Yeah. How do you know? Oh, how many times have I driven over here oh, past the much. ring road? I don't know, not much. Right. Don't go there. What? Don't go there. <laughs> need it on the video. No, when you used to live in Leverton. Yeah, I know. I don't want, I don't, we don't need to talk about that one. It's over. <laughs> okay. We're just heading over the Westgate Bridge and we just, Julia just happened to notice that the flag, both flags on the bridge are half mast and we were wondering whether it was for the Duke of Edinburgh or um, just recently Andrew Peacock, former, he was never a he wasn't Prime Minister, Prime Minister was he? No, deputy, he, for, uh, deputy, um, deputy, I think, I don't know. No, no, he was an um, opposition leader. He? Yeah. Something. So yeah, we're just wondering whether, probably the Duke, I'd say, <coughs> but you never know.
He's the big man. He's just uh, just arrived. How are you? So I haven't coined the beast. So um, Steve and Deb got the uh, the Toyota and the Jayco. What is it? The Sterling hooked yeah, up. Junko. Junko. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you'll go out of the traffic, yeah, and then he decides, nah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you need to stop anywhere? No. Alright. Do you? Ah, uh, no, I can, I'm right. I thought after that coffee you might need to... Look at you coming up here, Donna. It's an idiot. It's an idiot. What do you want to do? <laughs> yeah. Nah. She's not scared who got exclusivity on that, I can tell you. Yeah, I know, I know. There's a few, a few of them around. Yep. It's not yeah, a nice little town. Thing. Have you ever, um, set, what's that, that river, uh, that, cr um, that, um, lake over there? What's that called? Oh, well, it's Palm Bay. Hey? Palm Bay. Come up here. Yeah. And then just up here a little bit further, there's a road off to your left. I thought, I'll see ya. Yeah. And then just up here a little bit further, there's a road off to your left. I thought, I'm going the wrong way. I know yeah. I am. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this road, you know, where, where he was on the highway. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I thought this road come out of the highway. See? Yeah. Yeah. Because I've gone off here, I found my way. Yeah, there, there is a road that we just, that road that we just come off, that goes b taking us back to where the highway. So this road, are you? Yeah. 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 You that turn left there, yeah? I thought, oh, yeah. Wow. So I come up to here and then I back down that road there and done a U turn. Wow. And, 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 a, and a little football girl was going mental. Yeah, I reckon that would have been. Until I done that U-turn, I was, I was in a state of flux. Oh, there we are. Look at that. Right? And then oh. when I got up, oh. yeah, when we come here, I got up here, I thought, you drongo, you could have come up here with a truck. Yeah, done a U-E. Right? Done a U-turn up here. Yeah, yeah. And all would have been good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are um, a few k's out of Colac, and Steve decided to... Um, tell us about a place called Red Hill, which is where we are now. It's a Red Hill, a uh, Red Rock, sorry, Red Rock Lookout. So we've decided to come up here, and she's a fair view. We're just in the car park here, and she's a fair view all the way around. Beautiful view, actually. Big lake over there. We'll go upstairs and we'll have a look at a uh, better one. And, um, Steve reckons he bought a uh, 25 metre B-double truck up here one night because he uh, went the wrong way. So why, what, how come you went the wrong way, Steve? No, because I got lost. Yeah, he got lost. This is, a truck, this is a truck driver and he got lost. Got lost with a 25 metre B-double. See the craters? Yeah, yeah. When yeah. you get up on the up on the lookout, 
Oh, can you they, walk there? Yeah, yeah, they stand out like a sewer of thumb. Yeah, right. And that, apparently, is the biggest freshwater lake in Victoria. Go right until you see Tower Hill. Yeah? That's absolutely beautiful. And where's Tower Hill? In between Warrnambool and Port Ferry. Oh, OK. The church down there, got the football club happening. Mm. Mm. Turn left after 200 meters and follow Red Rock Reserve Road. I love this. This is what? fantastic. This is a beautiful spot to oh, yeah. have a look at, isn't it? Please turn next left. Caution, unsurfaced road. <laughs> Too late, we've already been on it. Turn left after 150 meters and follow Kuranga Mud Lake Road. There you go. I just can't get over. Left? We've got to go right. No, no, we're not going back that way. We're going, we're going to fall left. The, Please the turn next left. Let this take us away. Uh, but I can't get over the, the beautiful old houses. Yeah. That are around here at the um have a look at this oh one here. Yeah, I know, I saw it. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't oh, it? Oh man. Beautiful. That's fantastic. We've just made it to Warnable. It's uh, it's a quarter to two. A little bit later than what we thought, but that's all right. We've pulled up at a couple of places. We just tried the Allens. We're 
cheese factory, but it's closed. Hopefully that's not too low. That is there a bridge there? Oh, he's, he's going through. No, it's not. It's all right. But Toby Follow Road. the road for one kilometre. So this is um the way down to Lady Bay Resort as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lady Bay's down here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Stevie's following us. Yes, he is. There's a couple of caravan parks down here. I think. Oh, okay. Um, like, what's that? Surfside Holiday Park. There, mm -hmm. that's one. Oh, look, oh, it's look a at we've carnival. got we've got the carnival here. Simon's Whoa, restaurant. Oh. Get some fairy floss. <laughs> yeah, right. What? I have it. Going through it. It's it's down here. Just staying down there. Yeah, it's not What's saying that? much. Stop it. Look, mini golf. We can go play mini golf. <clears throat> I reckon. I think there's people still camping down there or holidaying because there's people walking around here. It's not good direction. Um, GPS. There's um, Lady Bay there. Oh, that big tall place. Make place. a U-turn after 150 wow. meters. There it is. Oh, there, there it is there. Or is it? Is that it? Is that is that the name of it? Like, uh, Discovery. Discovery. Yeah. That's it. Vehicles beyond this point. What? What? You have reached your destination, Check Discovery in, uh, Holiday Parks, Warrnambool. Oh, we, we better go and check in, eh? Yeah, well, there's no... I don't know how Steve's going to get in. Well, we must be able to get in there. Um, Steve's setup, the old Sterling, and he's still busy mucking around. Oh, yeah. hmm. So, at the Discovery Park in Warrnambool on Potobe Road, and um, we've uh, Set ours up. The A van. Got the Barbie out. Ready for tea tonight. And uh, the lovely Miss Daisy is all rugged up and reading her Facebook messages. Wink, nobody wink. Wa nobody wants to talk to me. Good. So, yeah. So, we've. Uh, Rung up a mate of mine in Warrnambool, he's going to come round and uh, have a chat. So, uh, we'll have some stuff later on. So, yeah, this, it's a bit quiet in the caravan park. Looks like there's some units over there. And um, there's a mobile. What do they call them? Winnebago things. And then some cabins. And yeah, just people just set up with their different caravans as such. 
Jayco over there. That one's a JB Caravans, pretty big off-roady type setup. Yeah, all pretty good. It's nice and quiet down here too. It's just rained, so everything's a little bit wet. Oh, actually, there's a there's a uh, swag over there. One of those swags with a with a um, cover over it. Quick night. Um, time for tea. It's about six o'clock in Warrnambool and uh, got the barbie going. Uh, just got to put a couple of snaggers on there and some veggies. Bit of a stir fry. Julia, where are you? Miss Daisy, poke your head out. There she is. Look at that. A little hooded princess. So we're going to um, cook a meal and uh, we're not going to go out tonight are we? No, we'll go out for lunch um, Yeah, we might uh, find a place tomorrow for lunch. Um, there's a nice uh, restaurant at the Lady Bay Resort. Um, we met up with um, Sally and and Dave who live in Warrnambool now and they're saying maybe the RSL or what else do they say RSL or the bowling club, bowling club yeah for a meal so we don't know we'll, we'll see where we uh, end up hopefully uh, down near the water's edge and we can take a few pics